hi it's nan welcome everyone to my channel today it's a flip, flip through of junk journals from my first one to not my last one i will move this one aside because i will go through it but this one i wanted to go through it real quick because this my junk journal journey ha, I, right now is about three years and a half and this is pretty much where i started off i purchased some traveler's notebooks from amazon to work on I don't know who inspired me in the beginning or how it became an addiction. Yeah, it's an addiction. Well, maybe not an addiction, but I really, really love it. I don't know who I was watching, but the thing that I do know is that I am a junk journaler. I'm going to go through it really quick because and I'm going to start from the back. So I'm just going to flip through so you can see then most of what I've done is pretty much magazine cutouts. Nothing spectacular. Maybe that was the glue book junkie inside of me that still exists. Magazines, magazines, old calendars, I say them all. Drawings, birds, flips, pockets. No tags, I don't think. That came later, but this is pretty much a lot of how my first journal became a journal. Papers from Hobby Lobby, watch some of my favorite washi tapes. 218. Let's bring on the one from last year. This one. I love it. I cut it out. I used a Ritz box to make this one. Not easy but it worked for me. The only thing I realized after I finished it was that I added too many inserts, became too bulky, had to remove. So as you can see in the spine, one elastic band and it's very thin because during 220, I just, elastic bands were rare. And uh, the empty grommets. The back, let's start with the back. Added a tag into a pocket thrifted now I've rick rack that's what they call it some of my favorite material then I added this little tag that I made I actually had something here that came off so I decided well I have some stuff in my stash I added this little tag to it it's just a mixture of things of course Tim Holtz stamps I created the, t the, the ticket cut them out and just stamped his stamp on there other stamps that I purchased through Amazon. I've been making my own words on my computer and just embellished it lightly. Card in a pocket in the front, be an individual, take risks, is what I'm doing with everything I create now. Live your life with purpose. Added the two grommets and for some reason in my last video I kept calling lace ribbon and ribbon lace. I'm not sure why, but here is some pretty ribbon that I found thrifting. And let's begin this book. At one point I did watch um, Linda on the outpost so that I can't take credit for this idea right here, this clip, this cloth clip. Just layered the material on it and created a pretty, pretty clip. And of course the book is loose because I did have to pull out the other two inserts. Daphne's Diary Magazine, Old Calendar. Three words in their hope, strength, and courage. I guess because at that time, who knows what was going on? I can't remember. I'm sure it's written in there. This is an envelope that came in the mail with a big pocket. I like the ones with the big pocket. You see more. Uh, old page of a book that I found thrifting, which actually is patterns that you iron on. I decided to color it and put it as a background. Puzzle paper from the 12 by 12 packs that you find at um, Hobby Lobby. And if there's something you see that I've written, oh well, hope it's not that personal. Also watched a video on mixed media art making a postcard. Only I used a little measurement card. Old card that you get in the boxes from Goodwill. And I just added a napkin, paint, all different kinds of stamps from different people. Like I said before, I don't remember all of them. I like Momenta, oh no, or are those Sizzix? Anyway, different types of stamps. And you can tell I'm a newbie at this, but don't worry. I'll get comfortable with it. 
lace pocket, buttons, bags to keep receipts in. Here we go, a little card I added to a belly band. Something written on it. More paper studio washi tape that I have on there. Coffee dyed paper that I decorated with my initial. And there's, it's a little envelope with a little sentiment inside of it. The background paper is actually a masterboard collage that I made that I printed out and used as a background for this page. Tim Holtz card in the back and some ribbon. A children's book page. A, Van, a picture of Van Gogh. I love Van Gogh. I love Monet. There's quite a few of them that I like. And it says, I will start with the small things. There is no blue without yellow and without orange. I've just kept on ceasingly painting in order to learn painting. Thought that was great. Reminded me of myself and how I'm just learning and continually learning. I might not express every little thing in the book, but you can get a general idea of where I'm going. I like to doodle old button given to me by my adopted mom this also came from her she has so many buttons i've already asked her whatever she's not using to let me have <laughs> and if she's saying this she knows and another book with a drawing of monet picture tim holt stamp poem book children's poem book reminded me of my grandma created this card just to cover up the envelope that I put there, which I did not decorate. Inspirational book that I like. There's several of these out there. One that's about weddings, another one that's about life, and I can't recall the others. Book page, old book page from the Reader's Digest. Made an envelope and just added a little stamp to it. Everyone knows her because she is, her book is so beautiful. Edith Holden. Managed to find her book for only $3 at the Salvation Army. Yes, I will say at the Salvation Army. Hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the, the tune without the words and never stops at all by Emily Dickinson. And if I sound a little hoarse, it's because of the weather. It's not so great this week. Took a piece of paper and just uh, layered a bunch of things on top of it just to give it a decorative look down here created one of those match boxes of course I made it a little too big here so I could not close it but it works well for me another card from bird book an old bird book that I found created a little flap for there some stats on the owl I just made my own paper ribbon here layered a bunch of coffee layered a bunch of coffee dyed paper on this and use the, the paper in the background all to just give it some layer. Used stamps, but I, I did it lightly. And as you can see, I like to keep stats on my days here, whether it's the temperature, allergens, um, the date, the time, and anything important I want to remember. Here, this is a mason jar card that uh, Target was selling at one point. They were selling a whole bunch of them. So I grabbed one and just I turned it around because it does have a design on the other side and added what I wanted to add to it. And this also, I saw on a video, someone was making flowers out of bits and pieces of paper and I decided to create my own. And I just lifted it up and I'm gonna have to re-glue it. Tim Holtz paper in the back. This is a paper where when you stamp, you just, I always have a paper on the side so that I can I guess dot the the ink off of the pa off of the stamp, and that's what I get what I got from it. Bingo card. Edith Holden again. This time I decided to cut the page and just check and decorate a little bit. Relative who sent me paper and things, so I decided to use it on this page, even this. Believe it or not, from an old mop. <laughs> Daphne's diary. Edith. This is from a Hero Stamp catalog. I have a catalog that I cut out of also. Tim Hull stamps in the back. Those are glued down. And a little card from one of, from Thumbelina. The reason why I had that there is because my mom, when I was little, used to call me Thumbelina, but in Spanish, what is Thumbelina? 
more. The little plant seed window pockets that many of us I've seen have this from Target also. I'm trying to draw myself. Don't think I did a good job, but I was inspired that day. Here I have a little library card in this pocket and the sentiments on this one. This is from a thrifted stamp that I got. I have never ordered from here, just like the picture, so I made a little band there so that I can slip this in there. Some old music paper. This is from Flow Magazine. This is actually a postcard, and that is Princess Elizabeth and Margaret Windsor on that card. And I've seen also there's people that are like their stash tea also. Covering up what I've written here with a little card that does not go there, but I just put it there. This is some mail that came in. It was a pocket thing, and I just decorated and added it there. And as you can see, there's just a variety of things. This is an old calendar. My sister sent me these letters. I decided to put them there. I'm sure many of us at one point in our life has asked ourselves if this more stash tea. And here I created a instant film frame in which I created a tag also with a Tim Holtz clock on the back and just layered on the tag and added it to that instant frame. Went to Connecticut last year, earlier last year. Decided to go to be with my mom because it was the year anniversary of my brother's passing. I did a pocket here and pretty much I'm coming to the end of this. I added two envelopes with sentiments in that from paper that she sent me. And also paper she sent me. I added a little pocket, added this flower to it. Cut the flowers and put them on this picture. As you can see, I didn't write anything in there. So my question is, do we all do this? At the end of our books, we end up with pages we have not used. I have quite a few in here. This one was bulky. I have to remind myself that these things can become whoppers as far as the size. I still have a bunch of paper in there, which I might cut down and still use because I don't throw anything out. And the back of the book, I left it simple with Tim Holtz in the back, more Rick Rack. And that's the gist of this book, which I created myself from a Ritz cracker box. It can be done with practically any type of box. I found with the Ritz crackers, you have to file the front so that whatever you put on it sticks better. Use a little, I used a little nail file and just rubbed it over the, the outside cover. But this is my book, and I love it. And this is the end of my flip through. I hope everyone's day is a beautiful day and come see me soon.